Hello fellow guardians, today's video is going to be a full step-by-step -step guide for Retrix's broadsword. There will be timestamps in the description if you guys would like to just skip ahead to the specific step. I highly recommend picking up crucible bounties and saving them for later. To obtain the quest, go to our good old body shacks and pick up the orientation bounty. It's the little orange one, you shouldn't miss it. <laughs> um, the first part of the quest is to get 200 pulse rifle final blows. Now, I personally use inaugural address I love that thing it's my little baby for this step approach that you can do is run with a buddy have them run a bow as long as they get a full drawn body shot on somebody if you're running vigilance wing all five shots to the head will instantly delete somebody faster than somebody got deleted and vault the glass at the gorgon maze for all you guys who know about that I'm sorry um then the second step is to reach rank heroic. This is not going to be long considering once when you get 200 pulse rifle kills you will be pretty much done with the ranks. For those curious of the rankings it goes guardian, brave, heroic, fabled, mythic, and legend. Legends actually, <clears throat> I'll just say this, legends not that difficult to le level up. It's not a lot compared to the other ones. I think Mythic's just the longest. Little tangent, but I'm sorry, guys. Uh, when I was done with my 200 pulse rifle kills, I got to about 80% of Brave. So the rest was just like a little tiny grind. Wasn't even that bad. I believe I'm on Hunter right now, so I can show you guys. I'm actually at the last step for those one. Yeah, he's not even there. Ben and Gilt, no, that's good old thingy. Uh, Luna's out. There you go. See, five valid resets. I will... I'll let you guys know more about that later in the video, but step three in PvP earn 75 double plays now those wondering this means you know two kills back to back pretty quickly a Tip I can say run with the buddy You know Unless they're god mode if you guys focus one guy and there's a team fight You know odds are you guys are gonna win and whatever kill he gets you get as long as you put a shot on it. So, if you guys both do damage to two different people, it's pretty easy to get the body. It's pretty easy to get. <coughs> excuse me. It's pretty easy to get those double kill medals. Also, at the time of this recording, Mayhem is not out. But if it's out for you guys, I highly recommend playing it because it is such. It is such an easy accomplishment. I wouldn't even say compliment. I messed up the sentence, but you get the point. It's so much easier to get double plays. Why am I stuck on a tree? It, with your super than it is with a gun, at least for me. You know, I'm a little peasant, so I can't aim. But. Yeah, there's that. You know, going to Mayhem, get double super, get your doubles in there. It's also more fun. Uh, step four. Get 150 precision kills with pulse rifles and PvP. Like I said earlier, I used to not go address for this as well, but at the time of this video, I don't have any tips besides, well, getting good, and, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, when using a pulse rifle, just remember guys, peek in and out of your cover, stay, try to stay mid-range, pulse rifles are very strong in contesting lanes, and holding down lanes but at a distance you know, I know it's harder with the shotguns and such being out now with the snipers but find yourself in that mid-range you know don't double peek against a sniper if you see one turn away don't challenge don't double peek turn the other way it's not worth getting your head blown off and then getting tilted trust me I know so if anybody else has any good tips Please leave them in the comment below. I know there's other videos you guys can watch, you know, how to get better with pulse rifles, you know, pulse rifle aim. Inaugural dress is very stable, very good. You have Vigilance Wing, great pulse rifle. You have Graviton Lance. I know people are probably smashing that dislike button now, but it's it's true, guys. You also have the Bygones Pulse Rifle, which I could just show you right now from the Drifter. You sound a very good roll. I believe I actually have it myself. Um... Uh, you know, full auto kill clip, has arrowhead, stability mod, it's worth it. 
Now it's just step five. You gotta defeat 50 guardians with our void and solar. This is pretty easy because it's not asking just for ability kills. You can do ability kills and weapon kills. So as long as you have a corresponding weapon with the archetype, you'll be good. Say archetype, archetype, whatever. You guys get the point. Like I said, at the time of this recording, Mayhem's not out. So if you guys have the option to pick Mayhem, pick Mayhem. Probably be a lot more fun. Step six. This one's more time consuming than anything because this one wants you to complete 25 matches of quick play, comp, and co and rumble. I was going to say comp and competitive, like two different game modes. Too much Overwatch, guys. <laughs> so for this one, go over to his shacks and pick up the shock and all bounty. That one's for Luna's How and since you basically the reason I'm telling you is because the first step has you or wants you to complete 10 matches of comp and since you're already doing 25 matches for this one why not knock out two birds with one stone now our, oh no it's not this one okay good the next one is 20 bounties like I said earlier before this step try to save up your bounties you need 20 bounties the ones you do beforehand do not count unfortunately which I feel like you should just get it if you did 20 bounties ahead of time this way you can just probably cross the step bungee make that a thing please just at least for this step because it's pretty tedious you have to wait four days before you can make any progress but yeah just save them up turn them in all at once boom you're done not the not that big step eight's the reason why you guys are probably here in the first place for a guide for the valor resetting uh the full step is to reset five times in a single season now I'm just about ready to reset twice. And what I can recommend, guys, is how do I put this? play a lot of Rumble. You're probably asking yourselves, why Rumble? Well, in Rumble, it's significantly easier to gain and keep your win streak. This is a huge this is huge for farming for rank. So in other game modes, like Control, Clash, <coughs> Supremacy, you need to actually beat the other team. And with so many factors such as going against a six-man team, possibly, or even blueberries, whatever the case, if you lose, there goes your win streak. Now, Rumble, there's no excuse because everything, or no, or for the most part, there is no... It's really not a big risk compared to the other two that I mentioned. Compared to, you know, 6v6. Everything is in your control. Yeah, there could be that one guy lagging, but that's one guy in a match. That's one match. Sometimes that is a big deal, but more often than not. The reason why also Rumble is easier to keep and manage your keep and gain win streaks is because you don't have to win number one to gain and keep a win streak. You only have to be in the top three. So, this is also better because <coughs> in Rumble, you know, being in the top three is less stressful. You're not going to stress yourself over just trying to win. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit more competitive probably after I release this video, but even so, the matches are shorter, so you'll be gaining faster. You know, you don't have to be in first place to win. And... It's up to you. Give me a minute, guys, because this good old fire truck wants to be right there. Oh. And everything you can control. If you win your 1v1s, you'll gain progress. And if you're not winning your 1v1s, you're going to be winning your 1v1s because you're going to be getting better as you play. There are so many vid I wouldn't even say hundreds there are so many videos made by Amtash Hovi Vanguard uh I know I'm missing somebody big I'm sorry I'm sorry that I'm missing your name I know what your name is I'm sorry but my point is there's so many other videos out there that you guys can watch to better yourselves for the for the thing now I'm not saying get good and play rumble I'm just saying you know this is a very effective farming method go on the rumble give it a try I promise you, 